What's good, everybody? Welcome to your daily PSA. Uh, welcome to your daily PSA. The Black Nuna Speaks. Y'all, I hope everybody's doing good and have a great Kill the Indians holiday. Sorry, Turkey Day, but it is what it is. Just be thankful you're with your family or with loved ones and, you know, just eat hearty and be with your family. Today is the Ask the Black Nuna Corner. And I got me some questions then, so I'm gonna go ahead and answer them right quick. All right. Ooh, -a 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 -a. Here we go, here we go. <clears throat> the Kawhi Smiles, that's one of my babies, I love him, asked, who do you think deserves to win the Mamas? Other than those shitty results. Me, personally, the person I think that should win the Mamas is B.A.P. Them boys came back three times this year and just killed everything. They deserve it more than anyone. I'm talking about anyone. I mean, this, that they are the best rookie group this year. Yes, I love Black B. Yes, they're my boys. But B.A.P., damn, them boys just fucking just killed it and I really do think they deserve to win that Ricky award I yes they do so star deserves to win too them girls came back like what two times three times this year sometimes them girls yes I think they need they deserve to win and Ailey that woman is gorgeous and she is a true solo singer Huna I don't or necessarily agree that she needs to be a fucking solo singer and solo anything. She has, has which she could be a very pretty girl, but her attitude is so ugly, and I really don't think that her just just being nominated for that ice cream when it just came out with the fucking shit, shit the dance steps, the stupid. She's just trying too hard, so it's so whatever with her. Um, Shadara Kimi asks. Uh, who, who should you, who do you think should actually win the Mama Awards for the categories? Like I said, not, I can't say I can't figure out all the categories off the top of my head, but B A P, so Star should win. A Lee, of course, should win those categories. The female, and then A Lee, the female solo artist, and B A P, best rookie artist, should win. Sister, the best like vocal group girl group and for like damn like men's group like group should be ah, I can't remember off the top of my head y'all super junior so yeah I'm sorry pot pie 87 I love her name pot pie 87 how did you get into k-pop 2 p.m. and um and who's the first Korean singer you like 2 p.m. 2 p.m. is the reason I got into K-pop. I first watched Wild Bunnies and ever since then I got hooked and like like I said I love Black B but 2 p.m. is my group always first. These boys have been like my inspiration for K-pop. I love them so much and they have this really tight bond with each other and they're just like really sweet and just gorgeous looking guys so 2 p.m. is always going to be my group. Hottest all day long. Um, let's see. For the love of K-pop ass, are you a fan of the Brown Eyed Girls? And what do you think sets them apart from other groups besides them being older? Yes, I love Brown Eyed Girls. They have a very sexy, mature side of them. And they just, they're just, they're very just like, they're grown women. They hold their own. And I really do like that a lot. Um, what do you think about Mir Miro's solo album? Miro is a fucking underrated rapper. And I think she deserves more credit than she's given. That girl is just amazing. And she's a, a wonderful rapper. And I do have her solo album. That was that was straight up bomb. And I want her to come back. Have you ever listened to the rapper Avia? Yes, I have. I like her. Very underrated too. You know, you have all these like overrated so-called rappers like you know Huna that can't rap or shit Miro, Avia, um, oh, I forgot she's in a oh, it's off the top of my tongue I'm trying to figure out but she's an awesome rapper too and they don't get a lot of credit and I'm just like okay so 
yeah, there's like so many underground rappers that deserve more credit than they are given. Do you think Korea would be ready for African American K-pop idol or solo? They would, but it would be like have to be taken in increments because you know you got some folks out there that are so fucking closed minded and ignorant that this the thought of that is just like makes them cringe but it's funny how so many like like Korean the Korean culture adapt African American culture urban hip hop culture from us but just cringe the thought of just being being around black people period like that I don't understand how that fucking works like, how can you copy us and then, like, don't like us? What the fuck is that? But it'll take some time because, you know, it just has to take time. That's all, you know. I mean, it'll get there eventually, but eventually people will warm up. Unless they're at the right company to promote them. Like YG or JYP, of course. Um, let's see. Cats029. Wait a minute. Hold on. Cats029 asked me, that's, that's, she's an awesome person. How did Susie from Miss A win the foreign, for, foreign vote for the best looking? I think it should have been Faye. Do you wonder or if those voters are really foreign and not Korean or Asian? I really don't think there were foreign voters. There couldn't have been. <laughs> so I was looking at that shit, I'm like, nah. Faye should have got it. Because a lot of foreign, real foreign voters have said that Faye is the most beautiful girl out of the group anyway. Besides, so I don't understand. I just think that she's a sham. And, like, she said it seems fishy to her, and I agree with her. Um, let's see. What else? Uh, ooh. Inco 92. Um, do you think that a person of Latin, Latin or Hispanic descent whether Latin American or Latin America can become K-pop idols. You damn right. Anybody of any race, color, creed can go and be a K-pop idol. If you want to do it, baby, you do it. You go ahead and do the damn thing. Don't let nobody stop you in your path of doing what you want to do. And if folks try to knock you down, damn it, you keep getting the fuck up and you keep going. Don't ever let nobody stop doing it. Anybody of any color can do it. Okay? Break barriers. Let folks know that you are doing it. Um, let's see. Kawaii Apple X3 asks, Do you watch Sam Martina videos? No. <laughs> well, I do watch stuff on it that I like, like Block B, but I don't watch the videos like all the time. Like that. Like, I don't like go and watch every. Nah. I mean, I just don't. I mean, I'm just not into them like that. I'm not trying to bash them or nothing like that because, you know, they, the Koreans talk about K-pop like I am. So, do what you do, but I don't go on their stuff like that I do. So, more props to them. Um, you know, their videos are alright. They mean, they're good. I mean, they got, you know, better shit than I do right now. So, whatever. But, you know, it is what it is. But, one day I'm going to get my shit together and I'm going to be like, blam, bam, bam, thank you, man, all of Korea, if it happens. So, yeah, whatever. <laughs> is that it? That's all. That's all the questions on there I have. Thank you for putting them in for me. And if you have any for next Wednesday, any questions for Ask the Black Noodle Corner next Wednesday, go ahead and put it in the crotch bar. I got to go. My macaroni and cheese is in the oven and shit, so... Yeah, I gotta like break that down, but I'll talk to you guys later. Love, peace, increase it. Enjoy your holiday. Be safe. I'll talk to you Friday if any of you if any of you are alive on Black Friday, cause Black Friday for me means staying my black ass at home. Stay safe, bitch. Talk to you later. Love, peace, increase it. Bye.